Here we have a customer's 2000 Ford F350 with a 7.3 liter diesel. We just got finished installing our 820 HHO double hydrogen cell kit. We found a nice spot behind the bumper to mount the hydrogen cell with a 1.75 quart tank higher than the cell to have proper electrolyte flow. Every vehicle is different, so we decided to use some metal strap for the water reservoir. We have it mounted right behind the grill. We then ran HHO tubing into the one micron filter. It catches any contaminants. Um, and from there, we go into the air intake just after the air filter before the turbo. And from there, we went on to our electrical. This customer has our 820 kit that includes the PWM. So we will be switching the PWM instead of the power through the relay. We have power coming from the battery to an automatic resettable circuit breaker. And from there, it goes down to the cell. For the ground, we recommend going directly to the battery for proper ground. From the battery, you run the ground wire inside the cab through the firewall to the battery side of the PWM. On the other side of the PWM, it is marked load and it goes back through the firewall ran down to the negative side of the hydrogen cell. We also include a switch that manually turns on and off the hydrogen cell. We use that, we get the power for that switch through the fuse box, hooked to an accessory fuse. Now you do not have to turn on and off the switch. It turns on and off the generator with the accessory of the vehicle. And that concludes the install of our 820 HHO kit. You can find us at innovativehho.com.